Hello everyone. In the previous video, as we were step, we have added the background image to our motivational code tag. So as a quick review, we have called the runout method, the main method, and as the argument, we have our stateless widget called code app. Inside that class, we have overridden the build method. In the build method, we have to return a widget. Here we have returned a material app widget. For the home property, we have added the scaffold with the body property. To overlay a background image, uh, we have a stack widget. Here we have decorated the container widget from adding an image. Uh, this will cover the screen. So to blur image for the child property of container widget, add the backdrop filter widget. This widget allows us to apply filters to existing painted content. So this backdrop filter has a property called filter to add filters. So to add blur filter, we have image filter class dot blur open and close bracket name constructor and this takes two arguments sigma x and sigma y sigma x to blur x axis and sigma y to blur y axis we have to give double values here i'm gonna add 3.04 both axis you can increase decrease as you like now you can see an error here the constructor returns type dynamic that isn't of expected type image filter that because we have to import another package called dart colon ui and this package is the way to add image filters now let's run our app oops our image is gone because we have to add a child property for backdrop filter for this property we have to add another container with a decoration property value is box decoration here we are going to add some opacity to this container to do that, add the color property value is colors dot black. You can have any color here and dot with opacity is a method that accepts one argument type of double. You can have a value between 0 0.0 and 1.0. 0 0.0, that's that's weird, right? Yeah, that's the way that identifies the double value. So be patient with it. I mean arrange to get opacity we don't want too much opacity 0.2 is good here now if you press restart as you can see our background image is blur and we have black opacity the reason is we have to add container to this backdrop filter is actually we have to add blur filter to a decorated container instead of an image so if you don't add this color with opacity you won't get the blur effect if you don't want opacity change this to 0, 0.0 okay now we have blurred our background made with some black opacity and in the next video i'll show you how to add frosted glass effect like this so if you like this video press like button also leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel that's a big help for me and you won't miss any video thanks for watching see you in the next video bye for now